morning oh it's been a morning guys it really has i was up at 4am like i normally am and today i went to the bathroom like normal i turned the taps on and there was no water apparently there was a burst pipe in the local area at 4am and there was just no water at all so all morning we've been without water luckily they've now got it working again so i had a workout and i've had a shower just dried my hair I haven't done my makeup, I haven't had breakfast or anything or even cleaned up from last night yet. So I'm going to go and do that now. Thankfully, my son is with his dad, so I haven't got to worry about the school run. There was a worry that we wasn't going to be going to school because obviously it affected his local school as well. But they got it working about seven o'clock this morning, so he's he's off to school. So I'm a little bit behind schedule. I didn't want to have a workout. And then not be able to have a shower. So I didn't have a workout straight away. Uh, but I have been working. I've been sorting out the rest of my son's room. And just tidying up little bits and pieces really. And just doing a little bit more work. And editing a video to go out in the next couple of days. But yeah, my son chose a great weekend to go to his dad's. So seriously, because I've had a burst water, a hot water bottle, which burnt my butt. Um, I've had no water. It's been a weekend, but hopefully at least it happened this weekend and not the weekend of Christmas, right? Because that would have been an absolute nightmare. Yeah, never mind. All is good. I'm going to go and have my breakfast now because I'm hungry after my workout. And then I'm going to carry on working, clean up and get ready for my boy to come home. So I'm really looking forward to him coming home. I always am anyway, but I think when I've had a bit of a up and down weekend just want your family don't you and he is my family so but let's let's carry on with the day i'm going to keep positive i'm not going to let these little things get to me because it's a waste of my energy i still haven't put my makeup on my hair needs another brush but i have finished my son's room uh, ready for him to decorate for christmas so i just want to quickly show you what i've done i moved all his toys off there and the decorations that we've ever bought him for the last couple of weeks or that we found in some boxes are all on there for him to decorate i then put his elf tie around one of his shelf things so that's hanging down there but he can move it if he wants to um i've got his elf slippers on the floor by his bed and over in the corner i've got his big snowman the message board because i lost that he took it and drew on it so that's gone uh, some elf cards and stickers that he got in his first of December box. I cleared his window. Excuse the next door's garden. That's what my next door's garden looks like. But here's um, his window. These are what he made at school. And then there's his money box as well. I gave him a pound. Found a pound on the floor, so I gave it to him. Um, and then here's his bed. This is his quilt. He's got the elf quilt. He's also got a Santa quilt. But I put the elf one on because... We've just done like Alf on the shelf and the Alf box and stuff. So the Alf teddy that he got in his box is by his pillow. And the Alf book that he got in his box is there as well. And on the corner, he's got his Alf pyjamas ready to put on when he comes home from school. So he's not coming home from school until about 4.30 because he's got after school club. But then that's it. So yeah, so that's my son's room. I'm in the car just coming up to pick up my son it is pouring down it has been raining all day all day it's been raining i don't think it's actually stopped since i woke up this morning um so yeah so it's a bit wet here uh, my son has been with his dad for the last few days so i am picking him up from school now he does like an after school club he learns coding whatever bloody coding is i don't know he learns coding um on the Monday after school so he's doing that I pick him up in 10 minutes um, I just had to pop to get bread from Asda which I forgot I forgot the bread so he's got no sandwiches tomorrow so I've got wraps so I thought I'd do him a wrap instead tomorrow and then I'll get some bread before school tomorrow instead uh, but because he obviously has been at his dad's we haven't done elf on the shelf for so I'll turn it around in a sec and I'll show you the elf so they had some mini bags of Haribo in home bargains and they're the fizzy ones and he really likes the fizzy ones and i don't really give him those very often so in his car seat there is the elf sat on his car seat with a packet of haribo because my kid touches the elf i don't i don't really care i'm not playing by the rules i play my own rules i play by my rules when it comes to the elf so yeah so that's what i'm doing now picking up 
my son. Then we're going to go home and have some dinner and that's going to spend some time with him. Uh, but let me quickly turn the camera around and show you what um, Buddy the Alf looks like. So there he is, look, sat in my son's car seat and he's got his little packet of Harry Bow in there. He's going to be so excited to see him when he comes home. And then obviously, if you saw it earlier, he's got his little um, elf bedding as well, which is really cool. But I'll let you know what he thinks when we get back. Morning, guys. I'm talking really quietly because my son is still asleep and I've just an elf on the shelf. But I want to show you what I've done. It's the next day. I didn't sign off yesterday because when my son come home, I just spent some time with him. And we just talked about his weekend and... What else did we did? We watched the Grinch movie, the animated one, and then he was just in hysterics. He thought it was hilarious. So, yeah, so that's why I didn't sign off yesterday or come back on. So I'm making this kind of like a two-day vlog. But what I'm doing today is the floor is lava with the elf. So as you can see, I just made a sign and it says, uh, floor is lava, get me to the sofa to be safe. Use the cushions to not step in the lava. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So basically, um, I've got cushions all around the house and a big red blanket. And when he wakes up, this will be by the side of his bed with Buddy. And he's got to use cushions to get to the stairs. And then he's got a banister, which he'll slide down a banister. But he's got to keep picking up the cushions and moving them so he doesn't step in the lava. But I'm going to be really quiet now. Um, so you may not hear me because I don't want to wake him up because it's only five past five in the morning. And I've got a pile of iron in to do. So let me quickly show you. So there's the sofa. And you can see I've got big cushions here. I've got a big red blanket, which is the lava. It's going to get a bit dark. I'm going to grab my elf. He slides down this banister here, but he's got cushions there. And don't worry, I'll be right in front of him to make sure that he doesn't slip. But when he steps on these ones, he's got to throw them down the stairs so he doesn't land in the lava, if that makes sense. And then he's got to keep moving them. So, yeah, so it goes all the way to there. So that's what's going to happen. He's now in bed, so I'm just going to put the buddy, the elf, on his side, on his bedside table. Another busy morning. I forgot my son's lunchbox. So I dropped him off at school and then I had to come all the way home, pick his lunchbox up and then drive all the way back to the school and go to the office to drop his lunch off for the day because he refuses hot dinners. He doesn't like the school's hot dinners. He says they're too spicy, so he doesn't like them. So he's been having packed lunch for about two years now, which is a bit annoying because he's still at the age where he can get free school dinners. But if he's not going to eat it, then I'd rather give him something that he is going to eat and starve all day. So anyway, so that happened this morning and I've rushed home. I did a bunch of work and then I'm getting a really bad headache. So I decided to take a break and um, I've been looking at what I'm going to be baking over Christmas because I've got to start making that soon. So I'm going to be making... Uh, some cheese puffs for my son because he absolutely loves them and I'm going to be making a bunch of my snacks as well so like my oat biscuits and my chocolate mousses and I'm going to make some banana ice cream for myself as well for when my son is away with his dad and I also think I was going to make a fruit cake um, a plant-based fruit cake I found this recipe and the only thing they use is better and I thought oh I wonder what else I can use instead of butter so I don't have to use it. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but, or I could just get some vegan butter. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'm just making a little list of things that I'm going to be baking. Um, and I'm going to spend a whole day just baking stuff and putting stuff in the freezer. So I've got it all there for little treats over the Christmas period. Would you like to see a video on that of me doing my baking? Or I can just like pop it in and out as I'm doing things. But at the moment on my list, there are cheese puffs oat biscuits chocolate oat biscuits banana bread chocolate banana bread also the chocolate mousse cups that i make banana ice cream and fudge banana and peanut butter fudge because you know i like baking with bananas and i'm also thinking of making a sausage roll for my mum and my son but also for my dad as well 
Um, I've done the sausages wrapped in bacon. So if you don't know, I get cocktail sausages and I get bacon and I wrap them up myself. I got one pack of bacon for £1.89 and then I got a pack of 25 cocktail sausages for, I think they were a pound, they were on offer, they were a pound in farm foods. So I bought those, so it cost me £2.89 and I think I've got about 20 sausages wrapped in bacon because my son absolutely loves them. Obviously I don't eat meat so I don't eat them, but you can get 12 for £4 or you can make them yourself for just under three quid and you get double the amount. So that's what I've already done. They're in the freezer ready to go. Our chicken is in the freezer because my mum and son doesn't really eat turkey, so they've got chicken. I'm gonna make a red lentil tofu, which I'm gonna make on the 23rd, because it needs to set overnight, and then I can have that on the 24th when we have our Christmas dinner. So that's what I've been looking at now, and it's coming up to lunchtime now, so I think I'm gonna have some lunch, then I'm gonna get on with some more work, and then I've got to pick up my son. He's got martial arts tonight. But he absolutely loved a Flora's Lava game. If you've got little kids, it's so much fun. If you don't have a red blanket, just get as many cushions and pillows as you can. And from their beds, put pillows down and put Flora's Lava. And they've got to get down the stairs. I obviously helped my son get down the stairs. I wasn't going to let him stand on pillows on his own and risk falling. But that's what we did. And he said, can we play again tomorrow? So I was like, yeah, of course you can. We don't have to do it as an app on the shelf. We can just play the game. But he thought it was so much fun. Such a big hit. I think tomorrow's app on the shelf is going to be the Skittles um, experiment where we put Skittles around the plate, pour water in, and it should make the Skittles colour run into the middle to make a rainbow. So we're going to make a rainbow tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm going to have my lunch now. Uh, I was going to say breakfast, but it's way past breakfast. I'm going to have my lunch and then I'm going to do some more work, pick up my son, give him dinner, martial arts, come home, set them down, go to bed. Whew. Tuesdays are busy. <laughs> and then tomorrow I've got the same thing, but we're swimming. So let's get on. I hope you're all having a great day. I haven't introduced myself if you're new. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a solo mum to one and on this channel I love everything to do with Christmas and lifestyle. I'm just going through life and trying to get through it some days and I'm just sharing my journey with you really. So if you're if you are new here or if you're not new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button, feel free to do so if you want to. So in the car now waiting for martial arts aren't we? Yep. This light's pretty good because it seems that it's actually pitch black outside. This isn't a bad light. So, yeah, so we haven't really done much today um, since I last came on. Um, our dog Toby's got a gunky eye, hasn't he? Oh my God. I know, oh my God, it's really, really gunky. Don't know what's going on with it at the uh, moment. And, and, to sc and school, when I went home, my um, I got was all muddy. So we had forest school today and his coat and his joggers and his wellies was literally mud there was no color to it it was just complete and utter mud so we had to come home and swirl that out and put that on and he's gonna have to wear his other coat to school obviously i sent him in with a change of clothes but oh god it was just horrendous he's had an earlier dinner today because we've been suffering with a little bit of tummy aches haven't we Oh. Yeah, so we actually ate dinner earlier today, but now he's hungry. So he's having a snack in the car before we go in. Good. And then once we've done that, I don't know what we're going to do. Go home, I'm going to have something to eat, and then maybe watch another Christmas film? Or do you just want to watch some Bluey tonight? Both. Oh, we're watching a bit of a Christmas film and a bit of Bluey. And then after we've done that, it'll be bedtime. Yay! Yay! This week on Thursday and Friday, what are we doing? We're putting our Christmas tree up on Thursday and Friday and then on Saturday Thomas Land and then Sunday we're gonna hopefully go and see my brother. I haven't seen him for two months. Wait, 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 wait. let me say something guys. When we put the Christmas tree up, it's gonna be a disaster. We have what? When we, when we try and put the Christmas tree up, it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be a disaster when we put the Christmas tree up apparently. Yeah. No, no you're not. Right, it's going to be perfectly fine. Positive thinking. Yeah, but, yeah, but Positive it's going to be hard thinking. Think, so it's going to be impossible. It's not going to be impossible. It's going to be amazing. And we're going to have hot chocolates while we do it. Bro. 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 Don't like it when it calls me bro. Anybody else's son or whatever call their call you bro. 
All right, bro. All right, bro. Whoever <laughs> thought of that needs talking to. So it annoys me. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get ready to go into martial arts. And then I will come on and sign off one more time before we go to bed, won't we? Yes, mummy. Yes. <laughs> got back home from martial arts and he got class star. Yay, we're done. He got class star. I was so, so proud of him. He's doing really well at martial arts at the moment. It's great. We are snuggled up in bed with our hot water bottles and we are just watching a few episodes of Bluey. We've already watched season one to three twice. This is our third time round watching Bluey, but he loves it. So we're just going to watch that. I'm going to get him off to bed in the next 15, 20 minutes. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. Just chill out, I suppose. Might do a bit of studying. Um, not sure. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to call it a night here. We're going to watch a little bit more Bluey and snuggle down for the evening just before bedtime. And we've got a new book, which is called... What's our book called? The Story of Christmas. The and, and it has Jesus in it. The Story of Christmas and it has Jesus in it. So we're going to read that one after we've watched a couple more episodes of Bluey and we're going to head off to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. As my son has said before, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and really help out the channel. I hope you are having a wonderful morning, day or evening or whenever you are watching this and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.